All right, guys, what is up? We are going to attempt to fix this damage here in this laminate countertop for under $5. So stick around if you want to see. And I say attempt because I've never done this before and I'm not a countertop guy. But we're going to attempt and see how it comes out looking. All right, guys, we've got this damage area here on our countertop right here sorry all right trying to get the camera to focus and we are going to use the durham's water putty this is like three dollars at home depot we're going to use a little spatula and just somewhere to mix this stuff and we're going to try to patch this it says it works for wood metal plastic so it's like an all-purpose all around we use this for our video where we did where we had the the scratches on the door from the dogs and it worked great so we're going to try it out here like i said i've never done this before there's probably there might be a way to i'm sure this this stuff comes up and you can buy the sheets and you can put it on there but like i said this is a rental our budget is tiny here and so we're just trying to fix this and then we're going to paint over it with the paint for the countertops just use the spatula to scrape off the little pieces that were already bubbled and broken um, as much as possible. Alright, so I'm cutting away the bubbled area so that it doesn't stick up and it's not at a different height than our regular countertop. There we go. So we are making it a little bit bigger. This was the original size. We made it a little bit bigger because it was bubbled up. All right, and I'm just using a regular utility knife and I went here at an angle to try to get that down even more. All right, and then under here is just like wood fiber. I don't know if they set something hot on here or what, what happened. But that's it. Let me wipe this off and then we will mix the putty. All right, guys, first you add the powder, then you add some water, and then you just mix it up until you get a good consistency. Um, I like to mix this up pretty thick uh, to where, kind of like joint compound, where you have to mix it, it doesn't drip. Um, anything like that so not too watery and then we just put it with the spatula on our repair went a little bit bigger than um, the actual size of the repair and the main thing was trying to get it as smooth as possible so that the sanding would be minimal all right guys we got it repaired you can see the area right here kind of blends in but already looks a lot better we're gonna let it dry it's already starting to dry this stuff dries really fast you don't have that much time to work it maybe five minutes and then it's gone all right so we're gonna let this dry and then we'll come back and we'll paint it see you next no One eternity later. All right, guys, yeah, so after a lot of sanding, we painted with the countertop paint. Um, I did a full video on this last week or two weeks ago, if you haven't seen it. This is our little repair area that we did. All right, guys, and this is after two coats, and we did one more coat on this after this. This is, I believe, after all three coats, and I didn't get too much video of the repair, but as you can see, you can't tell that we have a repair there. Up close, uh, you can tell a little tiny bit, but compared to how it was all burnt and caking off, it looks completely different and better. All right, in total, I spent $4 and some change on the repair, and the paint was like 20 bucks, but that's a separate video, guys. But as always, thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you guys next week.